Shalom, shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazakah from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as Continue in the Doctrine. Watch out for false doctrine. All right. Continue in the doctrine. Watch out for false doctrine. And the reason why I titled this lesson is this is because you have a lot of Jakes claiming to be in the truth, but they have false doctrine, all right, that they learned from following all these different groups. And you shouldn't be doing that. You want to follow one group, and that's Great Millstone. Great Millstone has 100% truth. Don't be following all these different groups because all these different groups is not teaching the same doctrine as Great Millstone. All right. And, you know, one thing I always be told, you know, many times before is that all the Israelite groups came out of one West. All our elders did come out of one West, but they're not all teaching the same doctrine. They're not teaching the same thing. All right. You got other groups teaching that the MOTB is not um, it's not a physical mark. They teaching that it's a spiritual, spiritual one. You got guys teaching that the MOTB is holding a bag of weed in your hand. All right, you got guys out there teaching that the the you know the 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 book of Hebrews is not the word of the Most High. You got guys teaching that it's okay to have sex on the Sabbath. You got guys teaching that it's okay to have a gun on them at camp. You want to avoid those type of groups. All right, those groups don't have the truth. All right, they teach false doctrine. So, Lord willingness, that's is edifying. We're just going to get some scriptures out. Because the scriptures give us instructions on how to conduct ourselves as an Israelite. And you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you want to take heed to the instructions given through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashi Mashai through his prophets. Because the Lord set up men to follow. And that's Great Millstone. This is 2 Timothy 4 and 2. It says, preach the word. So that's what you are instructed to do. Preach the word. You know. We are to do three videos every day. And set up camp once a week. That's our purpose. We're doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Working out our own salvation individually. So you want to be doing as much works as possible. You want to be diligent in this truth. All right. This truth is really important because, you know, in these last days, it's going to be a, a devastating time for particular individuals. So you want to be doing the work of the Lord. All right. Preach the word. Be instant in season when it's really, really, really hot. Out of season when it's really, really, really cold. It can be rainy. It can be hell outside. It could be 20 degree weather, snow. You still got to do the works. You still got to teach. Rebu rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So you individually, this is what is our purpose in this truth. You as an Hebrew Israelite, a so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indian, this is your purpose in the truth. Well, this should be your purpose in the truth. If it's not, and you have other... Uh, goals or other reasons why other than this then maybe you shouldn't be in the truth because your main reason why you should be in the truth is for salvation that's why i'm in the truth and other brothers that's followers of great millstone or brothers you know mainly from the elders there that are in great millstone on down they're in this truth for salvation like i am you know or any other brother that's what you should be in this truth for if it's not for salvation then you shouldn't really be in the truth because you're not understanding what's the purposes in being in the truth so you know one of those things that apply to this first and foremost 
is the doctrine. You want to be teaching the correct thing. 2 Timothy 4 and 3, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. And this has happened to a lot of individuals. They didn't endure sound doctrine. All right. They didn't continue doing the work of the Lord. All right. They winded up falling out or they winded up wanting to hear something new and went away and just became bugged out or they were in the truth and they got rebuked and they got emotional about it and fell out of the truth. And I pray I'm not this individual at all. I pray I'm not I don't be this individual or any brother out there that's tuning in to this video. I pray you brothers ain't those those individuals, man. Because the Lord can take the spirit from you in Psalms 51 and 11 and you don't want to be that individual, all right? Let's read from the top, 2 Timothy 4 and 2, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. A lot of jakes that were in the truth, that had the 100% truth, they fell out. You know, the Lord took the spirit from them. And, you know, that's that's a scary thing. And it's happening a lot. A lot of jakes that's coming into this truth are later becoming reprobates. And that's scary, man. That's why you want to continually endure and continually do the works of the Lord. It says, but after their own lust, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Because Jake always want to hear something different. They get tired of hearing the same thing. They want to hear something new. All right. They want to hear something new. So this group is teaching something different. Oh, that's cool. We teaching something that Greek Millstone ain't teaching. I'm going to go follow them. No, because what he teaching is not correct. It's false doctrine. And that's what be a lot of demise for a lot of Jake's. They take heed. Onto false doctrine because it's different. You don't need to be hearing something new. Anything that the elders isn't teaching and another dude is teaching, you should already know not to follow them. Because if Great Millstone's not teaching that, and you got and you listening to a Jake that's teaching something that Great Millstone doesn't teach, you should be really worried about that. Because clearly, if the elders isn't teaching that and this particular group is teaching that, they're clearly teaching false doctrine. Clearly, all right. So you want to avoid that. If a dude is going off. 25%, 10%, 5%, 1%. Don't watch them. All right? I'll say it again. If a Jake is teaching something, to teach, if a Jake is going off, 25%, 10%, 5%, 1%, 1 watch them. Because the smallest thing, because Jake was like, oh, that's, that's, that, that's nothing there. He's just going off. No. The smallest thing can turn into something big, and you don't want that. All right? So, Again, it, it can become a major thing following somebody that's that's going off 1%, 2%. Because the smallest thing can turn into something big and you don't want that. You know, because then you'll be going off. Then you'll be put up as an example. You don't want that. All right. All of us is walking on eggshells, including myself. This is 2 Timothy 4 and 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And this happened to a lot of individuals. Because they can't, they can't stay focused in having 100% truth and just learning and following the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Jake always want to do something different or he wants to do his own thing or Jake want to be the top guy. So they get that, they get that vainglory spirit on them. So they wind up turning away from the truth and start doing their own thing. They be in this truth for a year every time. When it gets a year for Jake, they start fucking bugging out. They start trying to do their own thing. They start getting cocky and big-headed, you know, having the the, the, uh, the, the high-minded demon. Oh, I've been the truth a year now, so, you know, I know this, I know that, I know this. When you still a year of the truth, you can't even break down, you can't even break down, um, you can't even break down um, you, uh, who the Messiah is. You don't know five precepts of, of, of who the Messiah is, according to the scriptures, man. All right? I'm just speaking first and foremost for anybody. You know, any Jake out there that's being prideful, you know, you don't know everything. I don't know everything. I'm still learning, you know, and it'll be seven years for me in August. All praise to the most high Lord willing, if he can continue to keep me in the spirit, it'll be seven years for me. And I, I don't know everything, you know, but usually this precept usually is going to the dudes that's a year in the truth. When they get a year, they start calling themselves an elder. And this is what a lot of them do. This is Second Timothy 4 and 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned onto fables. And this happened to a lot of individuals. 
That's why I always tell the brothers in my group, Servicey, how white, how shy, stay in order, stay hum stay humble. Because that pride demon, man, you getting cut off quick with me. I'm not dealing with that, all right? Because that pride, once that pride demon hops on one individual, it's going to hop on many. It's like a poisonous, uh, 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 you know, poisonous plant, man. And it just spreads. We don't, we don't want that, all right? We trying to receive salvation at the end of the day. But mainly a lot of Jakes that get a year and the truth, this that demon hops on them, the, the high-minded demon. Well, the spirit's just dealing with me because, you know, I just, you 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 still a fucking baby. You a year in the truth. You don't know nothing. You know, it, it hops on a lot of dudes in, 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 as a year. Even me, I was like that at one time. When I got a year in the truth, I started acting like that. But I had to get rebuked and, and, and really examine myself. Not say it, but really look at the things that I do. You know, and it, 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 the Jake get a year that that high minded demon hops on them, the pride demon and a high minded demon. You got to watch that spirit, man, because it can cause you to fall out of the truth and it can cause you to be bugged out. You'll wind up trying to do your own thing and come up with your own doctrine. That demon is very effective. That's why it's good to fast and, and pray, man, and ask the Lord to keep you in the right mind, you know, because uh, that that spirit. It's very uh, accurate. It's very active. Salakia. Second Timothy 4 and 5. It says, But watch thou in all things endure afflictions. It says, Do the work of an evangelist and make full proof of thy ministry. And that's what this is all about. That's what this is all about. All right? That's what this truth is all about. It's not about nothing else, man. You individually are working out your own salvation. All right? And you are trying to... You know, receive salvation, man. You know? So, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, you following Great Millstone. Don't follow no other group. All right? Follow Great Millstone Hebrew Israelites and the, and the brothers that's teaching the same doctrine that's under the banner of GMS. We're under the banner of GMS. We're not in GMS, but we're under the banner, banner of GMS. You got the brothers, prophets of Babylon. They, they under the banner of... Of, of GMS, you got the brothers of San Diego, uh, Fisher Turn Hunters, they under the banner of GMS, you know, we're not in Great Millstone, but we're under the banner of Great Millstone, we teach the same doctrine as Great Millstone, so those are the particular groups you want to follow, all right, because any guy that you listen into on his videos, and he's not giving double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, I advise you not to watch them. Because they either could be going off on a particular doctrine or teaching something different. All right. You, that's why the scriptures I'm about to get out right now. First Corinthians 14, for God, it says for the most high is not an author of confusion, but of peace as in all the churches of his saints. And we are the churches of this. We are the churches. All right. Which is camp. We're the churches and the saints are the Israelites. We're the, we're the saints. We're the Israelites and the churches. All right. We go out on the highways and byways once a week and we all teach during the week. All right. For the Lord, it says for for you, how about you, is not an author of confusion because the Lord is not an author of confusion, but of peace as in all the churches of the saints. So that's what this is all about, man. Enduring sound doctrine. All right. Continuing in the, in the, in the, in the, in the sound doctrine, man, not teaching your own thing and doing your own thing because you could be uh, destroyed for that, man. All right. I'm getting to uh, false prophets, man. You could be destroyed for that. All right. You could be destroyed teaching false doctrine, you know, and, uh, um, you know, or, or uh, um, you know, teaching something that's not that's not in the Bible, you know, teaching from your own interpretation. That's why the scriptures say in Matthew 17, 15, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, because a lot of people, they look at appearance. Oh, them guys got nice garments on. Them guys got the truth. They got nice garments on, you know. They got nice garments on. Them, them, them guys must be must be the true. Those those are the men of the Lord. Those are the true prophets right there. They got nice garments. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got nothing to do with them being the true prophets just because they got nice garments on. All right. Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. And we see it a lot going on right now with, the, with all these other groups. They teach in false doctrine. All right. They teach in false doctrine. Second Peter two and one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there 
shall be false teachers among you. And there's false teachers right now. You got the 501c3 charter pastors that's in these 501c3 charter religions. And you got these 501c3 charter Israelite groups. Yeah, you got Israelite groups sold out under the 501c3. That's why it's good to follow Great Millstone. All right. Don't follow all these other groups. All right. Because a lot of them are sold out under the 501c3 and they teach in false doctrine. All right. So there is false prophets, false teachers among us. It says, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, meaning lies. All right. Teaching things that's not in the Bible. All right. They're, they're teaching contrary to the Bible. They're teaching contrary to the doctrine. And that word contrary means opposite. All right. They're teaching things contrary to the Bible, to the scriptures, man. They're teaching contrary to the scriptures. All right. It says, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves a swift destruction. That's why you don't want to follow all those different groups that's outside of Great Millstone. Now, again, there's groups out there that is under the banner of Great Millstone. All right. Again, you got prophets, uh, uh, prof uh, prophets of Babylon. All right. They're under the banner of Great Millstone. They're not in Great Millstone, but they under the banner of Great Millstone. You got us, servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. We're under the banner of Great Millstone. We teach the same exact doctrine of Great Millstone. We follow Great Millstone. But mainly follow Great Millstone first and foremost, though. Because those are the men that have the 100% truth. Those are the men that we learn from. All right? So you got groups out there that's under the banner of Great Millstone. But any dude that's not giving double honors to the elders of Great Millstone... I advise you not to watch them because they not they're either teaching false doctrine, all right, or or they're just basically a a a a a guy that's under the five one c three. So follow one camp, Great Millstone, all right, or the brothers that's 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 teaching the same exact doctrine as Great Millstone, that's under the banner of Great Millstone, all right, because you got you got groups out there, camps out there that are under the banner of Great Millstone. They teach the same doctrine as Great Millstone, like myself, all right. So you want to follow mainly Great Millstone, though, all right, because they had 100% truth. And this is Matthew 24, 24, for there shall arise false, false, uh, false messiahs and false prophets, all right? It says, and shall show great signs and wonders. You see it in these 501c3 charter pastors in these churches. You know, you got these Peter Popoff, T.D. Jakes, Craftlow Dollars. You got all these these 501c3 charter people. You got these Israelite groups doing the same thing. All right. Making things seem good. Making things seem cool and nice. When obviously they bugged out and going off and doing things that's carnal. They're not doing nothing spiritual for the Lord. It says in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And all those people that's following all these different groups are being deceived. All right. But don't get me wrong. You know, like the elder said. The, the the elect is 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 uh, scattered abroad all right so you know at the end of the day our main thing is uh because the lord will handle all things the scriptures even say the lord is in control of all things the lord is going to uh deliver the elect we are all fighting and hoping to be because none of us know who the elect is but we know that the elect is being you know deceived our people are being deceived all right Verse, uh, this is Romans 16, 18. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Hamashiach Yahushai, but their own belly. And that's what a lot of these groups is doing. That's why they teach in false doctrine. That's why a lot of guys that came into this truth, they wind up falling out do, or, or, or they wind up going away from the truth. And like the scriptures say in 2 Timothy, going on to fables and, and teaching something not in the Bible. Oh, nuclear missiles is not in the Bible. The, uh, the MOTB is, is, is not a physical mark. They just start teaching false doctrine. You know, they teach their own belly, you know, teaching madness. It says, and by good words and fair speeches, deceive the minds of the simple. And this is what is happening right now to a lot of our people. They're being deceived, following all these different groups. That's why the elders say, don't do that. Follow Great Millstone, man. You know, don't follow all these other groups because they're not teaching the same doctrine. All right. You will wind up being destroyed. Following all those uh, other groups. And I got a precept. Because this is what's going to happen. To these false prophets. If they don't uh, repent. I'm going to go to Ezekiel uh, 13. I believe it is. If not it's 15. But um, yep. This is Ezekiel 13. 
Ezekiel 13 and uh, 1. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own, their own hearts, meaning their own mind. Because you got all these other groups doing that. They teaching false doctrine. They teaching contrary to the scriptures. They teaching contrary to the scriptures. Teaching opposite to the, what the scriptures is the, the, what the scriptures is saying. Teaching false doctrine. All right. It says, "Prophets of Israel that prophesy and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, meaning mine, hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Power. Woe, see, and this is the Lord. He's giving you warning." That word woe means warning or destruction. The Lord is giving you guys a warning and you're still doing what you're doing. So this is what's going to happen. If you keep teaching false doctrine, you're going to be destroyed. If you teach it something that's that's contrary to the scriptures, you want to repent because you could be destroyed for that. All right. The scriptures even say that in Revelation 22, 18 through 19. All right. You could be destroyed for adding and taking away from the word. You could be destroyed for that. And I'm going to get that out, Lord, one through the spirit. All right. It says, verse 3, Thus saith the Lord power, Woe unto you foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Because that's what they're doing. They're doing their own thing. Teaching their own doctrine. Alright? Teaching things that's contrary to the scriptures. You're going to be destroyed for that. Alright? <clears throat> this is verse 6. Skip down to verse 6. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying the Lord saith, and the Lord have not sent them. Right, you got false prophets. They teaching things that's not. They teaching things contrary to the Bible, things that is that that are you know made up from their own vain interpretation. It says they have made others to hope that they would conform conform the word. Verse seven: Have ye not seen a vain vision, and have seen and have ye not seen a lying divination? It says, Whereas ye say the Lord saith, albeit and have not spoken. Verse 8, it says, Therefore thus saith the Lord power, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, which talking to you 501c3 charter pastors, and you 501c3 charter Israelite groups. This is to y'all, man. Y'all false prophets, man. It says, Therefore thus saith the Lord power. It says, Because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore, behold, I am against you, saith the Lord. See, so the Lord is against you, man. All right? The Lord is against you. And if you Jakes don't repent, you're going to be destroyed. The Lord is against you. All right. The Lord is against you. Read that again. Verse eight. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies. Therefore, behold, I am against you, saith the Lord. If you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed. All right. If you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed. And I'm going to show you you're going to be destroyed because right here, the Lord even says it. And I'm going to actually get out Jeremiah. 23 1 through 2 so you want to be teaching the correct doctrine and you want to be making sure you're doing you know uh, 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 doing the will of the Lord all right in truth and sincerity all right Jeremiah 23 and 1 I'll call that brother later Jeremiah 23 and 1 it says woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture saith the Lord see so the Lord is giving you a particular warning all right. And if you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed. All right. It says Jeremiah 23 and one Woe be unto the foolish pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Verse two, therefore, thus saith the Lord power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. See, so you're going to be destroyed. If you Jakes don't repent and come out of that spirit that you have, the vain glory spirit, the high minded spirit, all right, you need to fall in line. The Lord has men set up. Fall in line. Your job is to learn the truth. Once you learn enough of this truth and you got the proper breakdowns of the basics of the scriptures, go out and start teaching. Just preach the word. Do three videos a day like the elders require us. Do three videos every day and set up camp once a week. That's what you're supposed to do. Learn and growing and continually going out and teaching. That's what you're supposed to do. All this other stuff of debating, you know, uh, 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 doing debates with other groups and trying to see who got the better knowledge. That's not working out your salvation. That's not working out your salvation. You're not doing nothing for the Lord. You're just going around causing battles for no reason. 
you might as well just be a rap battler and go go to URL and do rap battles. Cause that's what you're basically doing. You're not doing, that's not doing nothing for the Lord. All right. The only thing you should be doing is doing three videos every day, setting up camp once a week and continually uh, uh, teach the correct doctrine and, and continually build, man. That's what this is about. We're in the last days. You're all over there doing debates with all these other groups for vain glory and population. It, it, don't, it don't matter about that. All right, Jeremiah 21, 23 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. See, so the Lord is giving you a warning. You're going to be destroyed. All right? Let me read that one more time. Verse 2. It says, Therefore thus saith the Lord, power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. It says, And have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, save the Lord. So to you 501c3 charter pastors and you 501c3 charter Israelite groups that's sold out under the 501c3, that's teaching things that's the teaching things that's contrary to the scriptures. All right. You teaching things contrary to the scriptures. You're going to be destroyed for that. If you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed for that. Because let's get our revelations. Let's see what the Lord say when you add to the doctrine and you add to his word. Actually, let me get out first Timothy. This is First Timothy, um, yep, four and eleven, and then we'll get our revelations, Lord willing, through the Spirit. Revelations of twenty two eighteen, First Timothy four and four four and eleven. It says, "These things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth." See, and this is the Spirit, because I was about to get this out, because this this precept that I'm about to read in verse twelve is is really really one of the biggest things that you have to really exhort and observe and examine yourself on. That's why, again, you want to teach the correct doctrine and you want to be um, following Great Millstone. Because this right here, read it from the top, 1 Timothy 4 and 11. These things command and teach. See, so these things command and teach. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Verse 12. Let no man despise thy youth. Be thou an example to the believers. Because you're an example to the believers. You got people that watch your videos, that come across your videos. So you want to be making sure that you're teaching the correct doctrine and you're teaching the correct, you're doing the, the correct thing, all right? You don't want to be going off on the scriptures, coming up with your own doctrine, coming up with your own interpretation, because you got you got people that come across your videos, and if you're teaching something that's not contrary, you're teaching something that's contrary to the scriptures, you scattering a flock, and you putting them in confusion, and you're going to get put up as an example, because you're not supposed to do that, all right? You, you got people that follow you, so they're going to think it's okay to do that. Whatever you're teaching or whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing, whatever you're bringing out, showing out on camera, Jake is going to think that it's okay for them to do it. They're going to do that. That's why you, you don't want to do that. All right? You want to you wanna fall in line, be humble, sincere, diligent, and walking in the Spirit, living in the Spirit, and walking in the Spirit, as Scriptures tell us in Galatians 5 and 25. Verse 12, it says, Let no man despise thy youth. Be thou an example to the believers in word. See? In word. In the word. In, in conversation, all right, in, in speech, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. That's how you got to be in the truth. Verse 13, till I come, give attendance till the Lord come. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation. The elders, the positive remiss, have been going over exhortation. They always tell us, watch what we say, watch what we do, watch what we bring out, watch how we present ourselves, all right? It says, it says to exhortation, to doctrine. So you want to be teaching the correct doctrine. All right. Skip down to verse 15. Meditate upon these things. So these are the things you should meditate upon every day, 24-7. I do that myself, first and foremost, all the time. All right. And I ask the Lord for mercy. I ask the Lord to keep me in, in, in the right spirit. I pray for you brothers as well that's tuned into this or any brother in the truth for, that's under the banner of Great Millstone, that's teaching the same doctrine as Great Millstone, that's a follower of Great Millstone. That's what I mean by under the banner. All right. That's in that's teaching the same doctrine. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. It says that thy profiting may appear to all. Verse 16. This is the most important thing in this lesson. Take heed unto thyself. So take heed unto yourself individually. You have to take heed unto yourself and onto the doctrine. Onto the doctrine. It's in First Timothy. All right. It says. Continue in them, continue in it, not go away from it, not go do something different, not flip the doctrine upside down and try to form your own and build your own, establish your own doctrine. Don't do none of that. Continue in it, continue in it. For in, it says, for in doing this, thou shalt both save 
thyself, you save yourself, and them that hear thee, and them that hear thee. So you're saving yourself and them that hear, hear you. So if you teaching something that's contrary to the scriptures and you're going off and you're adding to the doctrine, you're doing all that, you're not saving yourself and you're not saving the people that's following you. You're misleading them and you could be destroyed for that. Yeah, you could be destroyed for that. All right. Regardless if you believe in that or not, you could be destroyed for that. And let me get that precept out. So that's why you want to take heed to this truth, man. You want to take heed to it. Because this is what's going to be the end result for a lot of these guys, man. This is their, this is what their judgment is going to be. All them guys that either fell out of the truth, <clears throat> started setting up their own thing and teaching their own doctrine. You know, I'm talking about these jakes that's not under the banner of Great Millstone, that's not teaching the same doctrine Great Millstone, that just left, that was following Great Millstone and left and did their own thing and started teaching their own thing. They started teaching that the name of, 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 the, of, the, of the only begotten son, his true name is Yahweh Shai, but you over here teaching his name is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai and adding vow points. I'm, I'm just giving examples today, whether it offends people or not. you teaching your own doctrine. You're teaching your own doctrine. You're not sustaining in, in the truth. You over there confusing, confusing the flock, and you could be destroyed for that. Revelation twenty two eighteen. For I testify unto every man, see, every man, Israelite man, that's in the truth, that's claiming to be in the truth, that's claiming to be a man of the Lord. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. Because you heard the words of the prophecy of the book many times. Those of you that fell out, those of you that went and did your own doctrine, your own thing, all right. It says here the words of prophecy of this book, because you heard it, you heard it many times. Elders said not to do that, not to go mix doctrines, not to follow all these other groups. Elders told us that many times, and it still doesn't stay clicked in Jacob in Jake's head. All right, it doesn't stay clicked in Jake's head. They still don't do it. It says if any man shall add unto these things, you add into the word. All right, you're adding to the word. You're over there saying if you got the MOTB, if you the only way to take the MOTB, you teaching that the only way you can take the the only way you can take the MOTB is by having a bag of weed in your hand, cocaine, you're going off. That's adding to the word, because that's not in the scriptures. That's not in the scriptures. You add into the word. All right. If a man, if a Jake out there teaching that the book of Enoch was taken out of the Bible, you add into the word, because that's not in the scriptures. All right. Anything you teaching that's contrary to the scriptures, you add into the word. And you could be destroyed for that, man. You're adding and taking away from the doctrine. You could be destroyed for that. If any man shall add unto these things, the most high shall add to him the plagues that are written in his book. You're going to be destroyed. You add into the word, you're going to be destroyed. All right? You add into the word, you're going to be destroyed. Verse 19. And if any man shall shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy. Yeah, you got Jake's doing that. Adding and taking from the word. You got Jake's doing that. Doing, doing bugged out stuff. It says, Yahweh Bashimashai shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in his book. Right. You got Jake's adding to the word and taking from the word, adding to it and taking from it, adding into it and taking from it. You're going to be destroyed doing that because you can't be doing that. You can't come up with your own doctrine. You can't be doing that. You have to sustain in the in, in the correct doctrine and 100 percent true. And you're supposed to continue in it. The scripture said that you're not supposed to go away from it. You're not supposed to go and flip it upside down and, and build your and establish your own doctrine. No, you don't do that. The Lord already has prophets set up. The Lord already has men set up. You have to follow those men. Through those men, Lord willing, you're going to receive salvation. But if you're going up teaching your own doctrine and doing your own thing, and I'll just use this example before I end this video. It's like what a brother said in GMS uh, last year. All right. If, if, if you have a band, all right, and let's say you have a band. And two to three people was going off, you know, going off on tune. The whole music is going to be messed up. If three people is going off, if three people is going off tune, being in a band, it sounds horrible. The whole music going to be messed up. If two to three, four members is in the band is going off on the music. All right. It's off tune. It's, it sounds horrible. But when what? When you hear musicians and they're all on tune, it sounds what? It sounds beautiful. It's nice. All right, but the moment somebody is off tune, three, four, five, six people are off tune, the whole music is messed up. So that's why it's that's why it's good to follow Great Millstone and be in that one body because you're gonna be all on one tune, having that great music because the scriptures is the music, the word is the is the, is the, is the music, man. But if two, three, four, five people going off, now the whole music is messed up. The whole band is messed up. 
So, you know, just giving a brief example. So, again, you want to sustain in the correct doctrine and you want to be teaching the correct thing. So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I want to give all honors and glories, praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yashai, Bashim, Kakudash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Razaka from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, man. So, hey. Continue in 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 a hundred percent truth, which is Great Millstone. Don't follow all these other groups. Don't go away from the doctrine of Great Millstone. Follow Great Millstone. So low one is that's edifying. So next time I say, Shalom.